And now more about Lowell Hayes. Lowell Hayes was born in the Appalachian Mountains, not all that far from the birthplace of Cheap Joe's. And like so many who are born here, he left and in the early 70s returned to his roots. We live on the Watauga River here, or just a few steps off of it. And I was born down the river at a place called Butler, and Butler was wiped out by the Tennessee Valley Authority uh, in order to build the Watauga Lake, which is a beautiful lake, and it, it's, it lies there amidst very steep hills. In, in a sense, my life has been a kind of Watauga River story. I started at the Watauga River. I went away for my education and to get married and so forth. But then, uh, after several brief careers, uh, I wound up back here and, uh, and here uh, in Valley Crucis near Boone. Uh, Boone, because Boone has a university, a university that in those days was very much on the make and determined to make itself a, a good school, and I think that's been largely successful. I think it is a good school. I was even lucky enough to teach there for a little while. Uh, and coming to the country and being uh, a kind of a halfway country boy, uh, I was aware that uh, you know, there, there was a cultural cost to that because you just don't have a lot of art galleries and, and art events in rural situations in small towns. Uh, so uh, some friends and I uh, just decided that if we were going to have an art scene, we needed to create it. So we started uh, Will the Real Gallery Please Stand Up, which in its day had a good reputation, had a fabulous reputation really. During that time, the uh, National Gallery of American Art uh, was putting together a show called uh, Art from Appalachia with uh, the help of the Appalachian Regional Commission. And uh, we invited them to come to our little town, and they did. And they met with us and uh, uh, Steve Ferguson and uh, uh, Noyes Capehart and I wound up being in that show. And uh, I was uh, on uh, Charles Kuralt's Sunday morning show uh, talking about that show. And then that was my, my little, uh, what, I don't know, seven and a half minutes of fame. I, th I think I'm still owed seven and a half. So in the meantime, the university started uh, taking a lot more leadership in art and eventually they were, uh, they were able to create uh, what is now known as the Turchin Center for the Visual Arts, which is a very important southern venue. Uh, it does terrific work. That's where my hemlocks were shown last year. Uh, Turchin brings in artists from all over the country and the world indeed and, uh, and it also is doing a fine job of showcasing and exposing uh, local artists, of whom we have many, and quite a few of them are very, very accomplished, very fine artists. When Lowell is working on a piece and is gathering materials, he often starts in his own backyard. When I uh, collect natural materials to use in my paintings, I do that on walks or hikes or whatever, and uh, what I take is what's given to me. I don't cut things down. Uh, here at the house, we live right in the woods, and uh, we are watching this second or third growth forest grow up. It has grown a lot since we moved here and started our house. The house itself is oriented right into the woods and uh, it's neat to live here in, in the woods in all of the seasons and watch it change. It's changing all the time. So the house has lots of glass and then uh, we have used a lot of forest materials in the house. The stonework in the house is uh, stone that has been picked up off the ground right outside here and the, uh, the tree stands that are in here are 
uh, mostly dead trees. A couple of them were trees that were removed from the actual house site. The house which was started in the early 70s was an expression of the philosophy of reusing material instead of uh, consuming more and more. Like most artists, Lowell Hayes has a deep passion for art, but Lowell also has a love for the environment, the forest, and in particular, hemlocks. The hemlocks, for a long time now, uh, have been under siege by uh, an imported little bug called the woolly adelgid. And uh, it's called that because it makes a little, um, they look like little tiny cotton balls on the underside of the hemlock uh, leaves, the little needles. It has wiped out maybe 50% of the eastern hemlocks. As someone who loves the eastern forest and the character of the eastern forest, this is a, this is a big, uh, a big sadness for me. I, I, I think the hemlock is so important to the character of the Appalachian Mountains. I thought the best way for me personally to address it was to paint about it. So I made a, a group of pieces uh, about the hemlocks not so much about the death of them, but about the beauty and the dignity and the majesty of them. And uh, that, that came together as a show called The Hemlocks, The Hemlocks, which was shown at the Turchin Center for the Arts in Boone last year. And uh, I'm glad to say it was very well received and a great many people uh, got interested in The Hemlocks. And this piece behind me is uh, the piece that was on the poster for that show, and it is uh, one of the two largest pieces in the show. Lowell was around during the early days of Cheap Joe's, back when the entire company existed on a shelf in Boom Drug Company. I first met Joe Miller when he was a, a pharmacist in our, uh, our historic downtown Boone Drug. Uh, Boone Drug has become a, a, a chain. Uh, Joe is no longer involved with it, but he started uh, as, a, as an art supply dealer at Boone Drug with a few shelves of art supplies. He's a, he's a watercolorist himself and a very good one. I've watched him as he's watched me through the years uh, as we have uh, kept painting. Well, Joe started putting in a few things there and I kept going in there and buying this and buying that. It was hard to get art supplies in those days without ordering through the mail or going to a big town. And so I would mention to Joe, you know, Joe, I'd really like to have this. And he said, okay, I'll get it. And he did. And all these years, it's been just like that. I can, I can mention something to Joe and he'll get it. He'll get it and put it in and have it for me. One thing I like about Joe is he has a great sense of humor <laughs> and, and he has a, a real responsible feeling for this community and for art in this community and elsewhere. And uh, he's, been, he's always been very supportive of art in, in our area here. For more details about Lowell Hayes, visit online at lowellhayesartist.com.